Right now I'm demonstrating how to apply red hair color to darker levels of hair so you don't pull hot roots. Normally I would be wearing a pair of gloves, but today I'm not, so I'm going to get a little messy. But if you notice, I'm applying the color a half an inch away from the scalp on down to the ends. I'm going to comb through. I'm going to let down my next section. I'm working in thin sections so I can thoroughly saturate the hair. So therefore, once the hair is processed, I won't have any light and dark spots or spots that I've missed. I'm going to my brush, grab my section, and I'm going to go again half inch away from the scalp just to stay away from that scalp. Of course, the body heat is what accelerates the hair color and the developer. We don't want to pull hot roots. Now, once I complete the whole head and have the color applied to all the hair, I'm going to go back over my previous sections. Carve that out. And I'm going to apply the color right down at the base or the root at this time. Therefore, this has already started to develop or to process. And now I can catch up the base easily with the heat from the scalp. Apply that, overlap it into the color that I just put on to ensure coverage. And let it process. When the base catches up with the mid strand and ends, your process is over. Now, if I'm doing red highlights or red lowlights or however we want to say them, this is my process. And these come out beautiful. And it's best to work in this order to stay in control. Once you lose control of your hairstyle, it's, it makes your day frustrating. And you, don't, you shouldn't have to be frustrated. I'm going to do a weave and a slice. So here I'll do a weave. Take my foil. Later here inside the foil, load my brush, apply my product, keeping away from the scalp area, I'm still that half inch away, going to fold the foil, Fold the sides in, not dragging the hair. Now I'm going to let this section down and do a slice. I'm just going to turn this section right here into a slice section. A slice gives you a bolder effect. A weave gives you a more natural effect. I personally prefer weaving over slicing. It's just some personal preference of mine. Again, placing the foil directly under the section. I'm going to start about a half inch away. The foil traps in. Once you have all the foils applied and laying in your client's hair, the foil traps in body heat that the hair normally wouldn't have because it's so far away from the scalp. And it helps the color to process or the lightener, whatever you're working with. So a half inch away, I'm going to fold up, let that start the process. I do not want to pull hot roots. Fold my foil. Now, let's say my weave, the first foil I did, is processed enough for me. I'm ready to apply my red color to the base. I'm going to open my foil and just go right to that base. Close it back up. Let it continue the process. 
I'll keep checking this foil. And when it's processed enough for me, I'll take them out, rinse, style, and my client's on her way. Same with the slice, open up. Apply to the base. Now that I'm not gonna pull hot roots, because I stayed in control. And that, my friends, is how you apply red color to hair, especially hair that's level six and below. This is how you would apply the color to the hair. You want to start mid-strand to end, stand about a half inch away from the scalp, and then you want to come back once you finish with the whole head and apply at the scalp. Once that scalp color catches up with the end color, your job is complete. Same thing with the foil. You want to put your hair in the foil, apply a half inch away from the top of the foil, close that foil, finish the head, come back, and start applying to the base.